today I'm being set on fire. Three, two, one. So in the first Stuntman React video, Eric just briefly mentioned as a side thought, hey, we should light you on fire. We should light him on fire sometime. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Two weeks later when the video came out, he sent me a text, so when are we lighting you on fire? My honest first thought was absolutely, let's go. Let's do it. That sounds like yeah. the best. I'm so down. But then I thought about it, you know, I have, I have a mom, I have a dad, and you know, before I typed never, I actually thought it would be really cool to show you guys how Stuntman pulled off one of the most daring and dangerous stunts in Hollywood movies. Using my body as tribute to the whole thing. So, yeah, we have Eric here today. He's gonna light me on fire with his crew and it's gonna be great. I have no idea what to expect other than the fact that I will be lit on fire at some point today. Yo, Brian. Yo, is it true that I have to like eat ice cubes before I get set on fire? Yeah, you have to. I have to? Yeah. Okay. A bunch of them. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Yeah, absolutely. For real? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, I was about to eat so much ice. What's up guys, I am with Eric Linded and Omed Zader. These are Hollywood professional stuntmen, stunt coordinators, so. This is your your team, we're gonna we're here to keep you safe. There's a lot of different videos out there that talk about this process, but I think what's really cool is we're gonna step a guy who hasn't done it through this process and keep him safe. There are a lot of things involved to keep someone safe, especially setting someone on fire that's never been on fire. I love that, seeing people's first reactions and just the properties of fire and they learn the basics of fire, how fire always moves up, you wanna keep it behind you, away from your face. One of the safe ways is what we're gonna be doing today. We're all professionals. We've been brought up through the ranks and, and have learned trial through fire. We just wanna educate you guys on what happens. Don't do this, it's a really bad idea. People's first question always is, what does it feel like? Well, generally like nothing, you're just freezing. As Eric has mentioned in previous videos, it's the rush of adrenaline, the gel. It shouldn't feel like anything because as soon as you feel any kind of heat, well, you're kind of in trouble, but it's fun. Yeah. If it's done correctly with the right team. You guys. The right team? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so ideally what we want to do, we want to light your arm on fire. Okay. Then we like to light your legs on fire. Perfect. Okay. And then we like to light both arms, both legs, and your back on fire. <sighs> <laughs> when you're setting somebody on fire, you gotta protect them through the fire gel, but you can't just put fire gel on you. You know, then you're putting fuel onto the fire gel, which is what actually catches on fire. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not the fire gel itself. The fire gel is just strictly like a barrier to protect you against the fire. Now, some of the things that we're gonna help the fire gel out with are these different layers of fire protective clothing. There's many different kinds. There's, there's Nomex, there's fire resistant cotton, there's something called uh, Carbonex, all of it kind of has its own specific uses. Ultimately, what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna use this cotton layer. Two shirts for you, Yeah. okay? This layer is called PBI. This is actually fireproof. Well, It does not light on fire. Whoa. Oh, this feels it normal. feels like a normal yeah, shirt, right? Yeah. That's the weird part. That's crazy. <laughs> Everybody's gonna say, well, what if you put it in lava? <laughs> Does this burn at some point? Yes, it will. But by that point, your eyeballs melt out of your head. Okay, sweet. So, uh, sweet. We don't have to worry about that. We'll never get to those type of temperatures. We are gonna be lighting you on fire with the coldest possible fire, if that makes sense. Hmm. That makes sense to me. Keep it as safe as possible, right? Do not try this at do home. Do not try this at home. Please please we need to say ultimate definition. Do not try this at home. Please do not try it. Now, the other component to this is gonna be fire gel. There's many different kinds of fire gel. We have Action Factory Stunt Gel today. This is some of the best stuff in the business. So that's what we're gonna use cool. to keep you safe. It's all essentially organic. Can I eat this? Yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> How do you like it? It's kind of fresh, actually. <laughs> it's kind of fresh. Nice. It's like a honey, honey mint. I like that, that's yeah. nice. So what we'll do is we're gonna take this and completely cover the clothes with it. Right arm or left arm? Which one do you want? Right arm. Right arm? Awesome. So. No, wait, left arm, just in case. <laughs> case, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case. <laughs> You're probably gonna get cold. It, it kind of draws the heat out of your body. Okay. And then eventually we'll put it all over your head and all over everything to keep you safe. Okay. And then we will put that wardrobe over top of you. So you have three layers of clothing that are all covered in fire gel, then another layer of clothing that will be burning. I'm excited, to be honest. Thank you. It's a, it's a nervous excitement, you know? As you can see, this is a time-consuming process. Uh, typically, when we're doing this on set, we need about a 45-minute heads up. Once our guy 
is completely ready. In an ideal situation, we walk him straight to set and light him on fire. Yeah. Like there's not a lot of downtime. What will happen is if you wait too long, the gel I have up here will start sliding down his arm and will pull up down here. And I'll also do that in his legs. He'll still have some gel, but like the ideal system all over his body starts to break down over time. So you don't want him sitting there for three hours waiting to be set on, on fire. I'm feeling like an extra like 10, 12 pounds. Wait until your whole body's covered. I know, dude, I'm like 40 pounds heavier. I feel like a ketchup packet. <laughs> Hold this out like that, okay? So and then go ahead and test that. I'm just gonna uh, test the guy's burpee. Okay, we're good. Just for the size of this burn, more than likely it'll either A, burn out, or B, will just throw a little wet rag on it because this is very small. If anything happens to go wrong, just let me and the team handle it. Everybody just kind of step back. We will take care of it, make sure Clint feels good. Do I need to stop, drop, and roll at any point? You do not. Okay. We will, we will, we will get you. Okay, cool, cool. So, and so we're gonna put a little bit of fuel. This is what burns. A good. small little bit for now. Smells, All right, Clint. Smells like hot glue. Are you set? I think so. You guys are ready? Ready? Sure. All right. I think so. I'm on fire. Good. There you go. How do you feel? Feel pretty good. Just looking at some fire in my arm right now. <laughs> feel warm at all? Not yet. So let me know if it starts to feel warm. Okay. So could I cook a s'more over this? Do you think it'd be possible? Yeah. Put it up. Okay. Great. Yay. Whoa. Dude, your first fire. <laughs> Thanks. Nice, dude. Is it getting warm at all? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So that, that should dissipate. It's gonna warm up, it's fire. The thing that we want to avoid, especially when we're doing a bigger burn with you, is it getting hot. You need to let us know when you're getting warm so we can put you out. Even once the fire is out, if it remains hot, the very heat of it could give you a burn on your skin even though the fire is completely gone. I'd literally be cooked. Yes, you I'd be, be cooked a lot. I'd be cooked. Okay. Cool, man. So I don't want to like completely engulf you in flames yet. Once it starts to get around your face and everything, it gets to be a completely different deal. If you're comfortable with it, what I'd like to do is completely prep your whole body. Okay. And light your legs on fire. Okay, let's light my legs on fire because I don't know if I'm ready for the full body yet. Like on honestly, I'm like I'm cool with that, but my whole body, like both my arms, my legs, and my back, dude, I'm gonna have to work up to that. Look, and if that's something that you're not ready for. No pressure. Yes, Move. Ready? Yeah. All right, yeah. Clint. Let's do it. You all have right. to get down to the chones. Get get all the goo. Yeah. Dude, I feel like I'm being reverse born right now. Ah. You gotta take a big scoop of this and put it on your your crotch because I'm not doing it. But you gotta. I. It's a big scoop. Oh my. Oh. Clint. Yeah. No, you have to put it inside, bro. I know you for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if it doesn't soak in, you're. Are you yeah, I don't want you to Are lose you 100% serious or no? I'm 100% serious. serious. <laughs> I have to go a third time? Gotta get to the viewing window. God dang it. Why Why just that part? By the way, that was completely unnecessary. He was just doing another mess with you. I'm just kidding. Are you for real? It's good to go. At least it'll smell nice and fresh. <laughs> Dude, this is what I'll be for Halloween, dude. <laughs> just this. Goo man? Yeah, just... <laughs> dude, I've been to the airport, dude. I've, I've been to TSA before. Yeah. Has it been my four TSA agents at the same time, though? That's the... Uh, uh, that would be a first. <laughs> nice and thick all over. Yep. Dude, look at this little balloon sack yeah. right here, dude. Yeah, squish that air out. Yep. Nice and thick, nice and thick. It's starting to shiver. Oh, shiny. Ooh, Ooh jai breath. You gotta... In through the nose, out through the nose. <laughs> All right, second layer. I really do feel like a salamander. Yeah, Stab yeah, perfect. Him. Stand. I'm in. Three. All right. On up. Okay, let's. Uh... Chances are, if you're watching this video, you like movie making, and chances are, if you watch our channel, you're probably into visual effects. Now, when you're doing visual effects, you usually need elements to add to your footage: explosions, blood splatters, sparks, that kind of stuff. The thing is, when you have to go and buy a pack of like 20 blood hits just to use a couple, it's kind of expensive. So we've teamed up with Action VFX to curate what we call the Battle Box. It's a collection of all the elements you need to do a cool action scene at an affordable price. We've taken the best from each pack: a couple explosions, a couple blood splatters, a couple muzzle flashes and sparks, all the good stuff and action vfx man they just knock it out of the park with their elements they are such high quality elements it's cordodigital.com slash battlebox there's a link in the description below i think you will enjoy it if you're trying to get into visual effects yourself
Let's go light Clint on fire. Whew. Yeah, I never stopped talking now. We're all focused. It's just quiet work. You can just like, I can sense Clint's concentration. He's breathing through his nose so hard right now. He's trying not to shiver and be cold. I wonder if he's regretting it now, but either way, it's too late to turn back. There's only one way to warm him up. We've layered him up with all the layers, re-gelled as we put each layer on, make sure it's nice and thick. And this rubber suit is like not necessary for this one, but we're doing it anyway, just kind of help show the process. The suit essentially keeps the gel in. I feel like a garbage man ready, like a space garbage man. Is that Steve? It's Steve, dude. Wait, Steve, wait, do, you, do you know what we're doing right now? Are you just here to like pick up some guns or something? here to put these out so that they have a place to park. <laughs> I'm a considerate landlord. I am not just any landlord. Who, who, who am I? I am Steve, Steve the Steve. landlord. <laughs> Literally in about 10 minutes, Clint is going to do his first full body burn. Where is he going to do this, by the way? Oh, Wait a minute, are you serious? <laughs> Dude, seriously? Oh, yeah. you're covering up. No, we'll we'll yeah. make sure the scorch marks are cleared away. I did it about 30 years ago, and I had to put this gel on me, and I did on fire, while on fire, jumping jacks. And it looked great. Yeah. God, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. You're all set. Dude, I feel like I'm in a dream. You know when you're like trying to run, but you can't? Yeah. You're trying to fight, but you can't? That's how I feel right now, dude. <laughs> I feel like freaking Chungo. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fuel both of your legs. Yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and light that on fire. Okay. As you start to feel it get warm, I want you to go ahead and call it. Okay? I'll call it, okay. There's not a whole lot of wind in here, but once we get out there, it's gonna be a little bit different. Okay. okay. Cool? Okay. Everybody set? Set. Yeah. Cool. Set. 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 I'm set. We're doing it. Ready? Ready. Now, kind of move him around a little bit. I always like you. Thanks, Steve. See you, Torch. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Feel any heat? That's fine. No. Okay. Solid? Yeah. Yeah. That's chill. Yeah. Cool. That's chill. Go ahead and stand back up, bro. Okay. Like it feels nice. I I can feel some warmth, just the slightest warmth in my legs, and that's very nice right now because I am pretty cold. What I'd like to do next in the next stage of all this is we'll prep your head. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a moment, dude. I'm not gonna forget this. Look at Eric rubbing gel all over my chin. Dude, I can't hear. I'd like to light up another one arm. Okay. But we'll do it much bigger. Yeah, okay. And I would like you to kind of move around and feel the fire a okay. little bit. Okay. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. All right. Best thing. So. Kind of move around a little bit. Yeah, see the wind, feeling it. It made it very good. Hot spots? Good. Anything? Good. 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 Okay. Good. Great. Now the real question is, do you want to do a big one? Like more fire or more fire? Do you want to do all of them? I mean, we're. I'm. I didn't get suited up for nothing, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, we're okay, doing cool. it. I'm gonna touch up your face. Make sure that this is completely coverage everywhere, and then we're gonna we're gonna go for it. So what we'll do is I'll fuel you up nice and big. Just do this once. Just one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want you to hold your breath the entire time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you will run at a jog speed right down to there, and then when you get to the blanket, knee down and out. Like a superhero. Yes. It just landed. Yes. Like all cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. And we'll put you out. This is the moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> We have prepped you and prepared you. Do you I'm feel, ready, man. Feel safe? I'm ready. Right. Big breaths. Ready? Three, two, one.
Hot spot. Hot spot. Any, does anything burn or anything like that? Good, good. How good? How good? How good? All right, brother. Go ahead and stand up. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Are you hot anywhere? Any, any hot Maybe spot? just like right here. It's not, it's not great. Warm. <laughs> Dude, you did it. It's a lot of fire, man. That was great. I can't wait to see it. I have no idea. Like, I feel good right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nice. Here we go. Right. Dang, wow. Dude. You're on that fire, man. Dude, that's the whole fire. back. That's everything. Nice. Oh, what a fire <laughs> inspector's <laughs> dream. <laughs> the, the, the real question here is, are you guys happy? We're happy. We need another one? Can we do another one? I'll do another one. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do one more, some sort of variation, I will light you up and say, action. And you kind of do a turn. A little bit of the, the chicken dance, and then go. At any point, even if you only make it three steps, if you want out, go down. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, cool. Three, two, one. Hot spots. Hot spots. Hot spots. Good, good. Good. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. up. Come on. You okay? Water bottle. That was great. You that did was, it. Yeah, dude. You did it. Thanks, dude. I, I'd hug you, but fuck that, dude. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. Good job, that was man. Good. Awesome. How's your nose? Keeping it safe, keeping it real, man. Nose is great. Everything's good? Yeah. yeah. Get up from here real fast. <laughs> Killed it, man. <laughs> All these people came out to see burn. <laughs> and they did. I guess that's how it is, huh? This spin is great. Ooh. Oh man. Well, I think I feel like Clint's got a profile pic for life. Yeah, there it is, dude. Dude, that was awesome. Thank yeah, you so man. much for doing that. Of course, that. dude. That's, that's glad it all went well and you're okay. I won't forget it, dude. We got to awesome. have an amazing experience. Today. Yeah. That was freaking sweet, dude. It was exhilarating, yeah. I felt like I love being in the zone and I love it when it comes down to like super focus. I love those moments and that was definitely one of those moments for me. I felt like I could have jogged like three to four times that distance, but who knows? Maybe there's like a spike. Like right after I do double that distance, there's just like I am I am on fire and I'm actually burning. I had I don't know. I don't want to push the limits, <laughs> you know? But I felt good. Like I don't feel like I'm on fire. I don't feel like I'm burning right now. I feel great. Work of art. That's <laughs> what I call it. A work of art. And it went and you got two good takes. And Clint is doing great and he's wonderful. He has no PTSD that I can see. He's 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 a happy guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a very unique art form. It's just really cool to see you demonstrate it for us here. This was not to show you guys how to do this or how to light yourselves on fire. That's absolutely not what we want. We wanted to show you how to keep Keep somebody safe and and just what how much work goes into it and how much knowledge you need to have to be able to light somebody on fire and get them out of it safely completely unscathed yeah. so thank you so much for having us mm -hmm. and yeah. please do not try this at home by this point you guys probably know it but you can follow eric linden at eric linden on instagram or you know, his website but seriously a big thank you to you and the whole team yeah. for coming out here and helping us with this because i just hope that we continue to like deepen people's respect and understanding for the craft absolutely uh successful stunt nobody got hurt it's miller time <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you want to light yourself on fire, but you don't have a Hollywood stunt team, chances are you're going to need visual effects. Where are you going to get that fire from? You ask through your computer to me, and I hear you. <laughs> you're going to get the battle box. It's a collection of all of our favorite elements from action VFX. Everything we use from explosions to muscle flashes to bullet hits, all brought into one affordable package for you. We can click the link in the description below, and you can see each and every element. So if you're a visual effects artist just starting out, you already got a great library. I think you're going to find this very useful. I almost forgot. Um, if you buy anything else on action VFX, you can use the promo code CORRIDOR for 10 percent off. Please consider subscribing guys. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, I think Clinton had the time of his life. See you in the next one.